Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss about keyboard event. So to work with the keyboard events, we have keyboard event object that contain collection of event properties and event types. So we have the following event types, key down and key up and one more is key press. But here, please check it carefully. The key press event is an absolute event. I mean, it is not in use. So, and JavaScript is sincerely recommending us no need to use it. You should not use it. So, I will show you in the uh, other slide guys here. So, just check it carefully. This is the I went to developer mozilla.org. Here they are saying that this is an absolute event. It is not much in use and mostly they are saying that you should not use it. See, whatever the uh, functionality we can do with the key down, the same I think it will be approximately same. What is the key press event functionality? The same is going to be key. No? Anyhow, we will see this practically. You don't need to worry. Yeah, this is what this was exactly the keyboard event. And we have some event properties also. So in the same manner, we have seen the event properties uh, of mouse events. The same manner we have keyboard event properties also. Let us discuss them one by one. Okay, here I have an input element, guys. Can you check it here? My code is going, this is the input element I created. So when I'm pressing the key on this, which key I pressed? So what is the key code you pressed? So for example, you pressed A, N, B, or C, something like I want to know each and everything. So by using event properties, right? So to work with this, yes, let me find this event on key down is an event equal to, I'm going to write some function, handle keys. You can write event object as a parameter to this. Let me create a function here, function handle keys. Handle keys, this contain event object. So now you can just print it so you will understand exactly what is a uh, what is this object contains here. The same we did in event uh, mouse events also. Now I am doing the same here, but there is click event, focus event, uh, there is click event, mouse over, mouse out events are there, but these are the keyboard events. Now you can see I'm pressing a key in the text box. When you press a key in the text box, can you see the event was fired? So this is a keyboard event object. This keyboard event object contain collection of properties. If I expand this, can you see? So we can see lot of event properties. You press the alt key or not, you press the control key or not, you press it some other key or not. I mean shift key like this whatever it may be so here we have what type of event this is event type in earlier session we seen the event type that is a key uh, key uh, mouse mouse click event mouse over event mouse out house event that these are the events we seen earlier but this is key down event right now so you can go and simply you can check it here this is going to be so key event dot type if you can write it so what type of event this is also we can get it so for example if i press a that is going to be a key down event right so and you can press event dot key just i'm pressing a key just only key it will tell you what type of key you pressed so for example i'm going to press a can you see that is what the a you press the a for example i'm going to take this as a b c d something like this right so whatever the uh, key you are pressing that value also we can read it by using event dot key property so we have one more property called event dot key code what the, what is the ascii code of the key you pressed so for every key in our keyboard we have some ascii values guys here you can check it the ascii for example i'm pressing one what is the ascii value of it 49 i'm pressing a what is the value of it 65 and you can press up arrow i'm pressing up arrow what is the ascii value 38 i'm pressing uh, left arrow that is what arrow left I'm pressing right arrow this I'm pressing down arrow can you see these are all the uh, ASCII values of for every key even though I'm pressing enter now if you can press enter there is a value what is the value of it 13 is the enter ASCII value of enter button space is 32 I'm pressing space now it is 32 you can press escape here there is 27 you can press tab here there is a 9 for every key there is an ASCII value even you can press the back button also. What is the back button ASCII value? I'm pressing back button. Back, backspace ASCII value is an 8. So in the keyboard, we have a lot of values are there. For every key you are pressing, so that is going to be 
write an ascii value that is going to contain an ascii value like this we can understand generally when you are chatting with our friends or somewhere we will use either that is either facebook chat or gmail chat so you are typing lot of keys but when you submit the enter button then chat will be submitted automatically in this situation there may be they are using the ascii value of the enter button because every key contain some key code that is nothing but ascii value based on the ascii value they may be submit the chat i think right yes guys so like this we have uh, we can find each and everything guys here this is what exactly the event property when, uh, when you are uh, pressing a button or key or you pressing alt key or you pressing shift key or you pressing control key also we can check it so we have already there so i have something called property called alt key this is the alt key this is going to be a shift key something like this we have all these properties are th th these properties we already seen in the uh, even uh, i mean mouse events also the same in the mouse events video also we seen now can you see i am going to press a so now you can see all right it was undefined what is this undefined shift sh i f t spell mistake is there maybe the reason that's why it is giving the error now i am pressing the shift guys just you can press shift key and uh, you can press shift t so can you see shift is going to be true now this is what exactly true see and one more thing if you observed if i press a continuously on this i am pressing a the event is firing continuously right so what exactly it is doing so when you are pressing if you are pressing a key multiple time that is, see now i am pressing the back button continuously again the event is firing guys this is what exactly the key down event now you can go with the key up event so the difference we can find lot of difference in the key up event also when this key up event is going to be fired whatever it may be whatever the event it may be these properties are common that may be a key up or key down or key press whatever it may be guys right let me keep them into comment and let us work with this as a key up event now this time i am going to check with the key down when you down the key the event is firing key up what is this key up you know you have to press and release the key then only this key up event is going to be fired now you can check it console dot log just i want to print the event only e v e n t just you can print it and check it guys here now you can refresh it if you can refresh i am going to press a here can you see the event was fired immediately the event was fired now you can go with the, so i am pressing a continuously i am not releasing i am not releasing now i release it then event is fired but what happened in the key down event so you you are pressing continuously the event is also firing continuously right this is this was exactly the difference between key up and key down event right so in the same manner you can write this or uh, uh, event dot key code event dot key type and all everything we can write so event dot type what type of event this is earlier we seen that is key down event now we can see this is going to be a key up event now i am pressing a so can you see the event type is key up in the console in the same manner i am pressing a key continuously i am not releasing it can you see so okay one minute please so let us refresh it refreshing oh what happened yes so now i am going to click a key continuously i am not releasing now i am going to release after pressing so many times the character a i released the key so press and release that is nothing but the key up so key down just down the key event is going to be fired you don't need to release it just down the key the event is going to be continuously called this is what exactly the key up event so you have to press the key and you have to release it key down just down the key the event is going to be work automatically in the same manner here we can write this as a key press also can you see the behavior of the key press event is absolutely same as key down event now what exactly the key down can you see here i am pressing a character so event is firing i am pressing continuously what type of event that is key press event right so or else you can go and you can print this guys here so that you will understand event i am just taking key down the event is going to be fired can you see this is what exactly the event is firing the event is firing if i press the key continuously the event is also firing continuously but whereas key up event you press the key won't call you press and release it then only event is going to be called that is key up key press and release key up key down just down the key and it is going to be fired key press is also absolutely same like uh, 
key down so now i what i want to do whatever the message you are typing so that message value i want to bind this paragraph type for example for this i am going to write this as a this dot val u value whatever the value you are entering it let me take this value this is going to be a val variable now just bind that value to the paragraph tag so we will see in some other way document dot get element by id id of the paragraph is msz dot inner html is a property equal to val just i am taking the val variable and just you can refresh it so that you will understand can you see i am pressing a can you see is there anything happen it is not binded can you see ac i am um, now it is binding acv now it is binding something like this you you can see my text box contain four characters but it is displaying only three if you can press fifth character then it is going to bind it i mean one character was uh, uh, black here in the same manner here this is a key press in the same manner you can go with the key down also same behavior can you see key down is also coming like same now i'm pressing a are you getting anything a now you are getting a now you are getting if keyboard contain 3 then it is getting 2 now you can see this is how we are getting the values in the same manner i am going to write the key up event if you can use the key up event nothing no problem so, so now you can see key press and release then only value is coming immediately value is coming but earlier you pressed a but not come when you pressing second character then first character was printed in the both events key press and key down event but in key up press the key and release it and the event is going to fire now something called aws something like this if you can press s character continuously it is one now you can release it then it will be fired now i'm going to remove it now no, nothing was there i'm pressing the c continuously now you release it this was exactly the thing so this is nothing but the keyboard events so where exactly we can use this keyboard events in real time seriously guys uh, best example i'm going to use the google search here so in this google search when you're typing some values here can you see it is going to be get something right so i'm going to press some other character based on the key you're pressing so you are getting the values automatically right so you can write something called welcome something like that based on that values are sizing right so when you are pressing see first you can take only one character i'm going with the w can you see some sizes are coming based on the key i pressed so which are starting with the w sizes how these sizes are coming we don't bother but just i'm telling you so where we can use this event exactly in real time this is also an event where we can use when i'm pressing something i want to bind i want to check spell checks and all whatever it may be yes we can use this also keyboard events right so these are the keyboard events guys in the keyboard event object we have uh, we have event types and event properties by using the properties we can understand what type of what type of key you pressed and their ascii value what type of event that is also we can check it and we have the following event types uh, key press and uh, key down and key up so javascript is saying that key press is a absolute event you should not use it so we don't need to worry what exactly the functionality was done by key press the same we can do key down also yeah so these are the events we are going to see maybe this may be not supported in future versions of browsers maybe so we don't need to use of it just you can go with the key down and key up this is all about events thank you guys if you have any doubts please comment under the video section thank you thank you all